Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. Today we're going to be talking about a new feature in uh, the newest version of Lightburn, version 1.0.00. just came out uh, two days ago, and uh, it's released to the public. So if you've got Lightburn and you got that update notice, definitely update your software to version 1 because there there is a price change coming, and the price is going to be going up on it. So update it now, and it's good forever. You don't have to get the update service and you know pay annually. You can just pay once and keep it forever. But you're going to want Want that update service anyway lightburn is really a great piece of software and for this price it does things that it needs software 10 times the price to do so let's talk about what's happening today today there's a whole bunch of new features in version 1.0 today we're going to be talking about virtual arrays and i'm really excited i, I mean i'm really excited and if you don't believe me here's a picture of me right now you can you can see how excited i am this is a great new feature so <laughs> Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh my God, I'm really excited about this because I do a lot of production stuff and it, this is just going to make my life so much easier. I'm sure you're all familiar with arrays, but let me show you something new. So uh, I'm going to grab a rectangle over here and drag that out and I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to come down here to array and we're going to make an array and we're going to make it just for our, this example, uh, four and four and say okay now you notice something different this is different these dashed boxes on all the arrays is completely different than what it used to be it used to be you would you would now have 16 of these right here com exact duplicates and the difference now with the virtual array they're completely tied to each other look at that everything moves together so the question that you're probably asking is how does this benefit me well, I'm going to show you. So if we brought in like a graphic, we'll bring in this little bulldog here for, for an example. Okay. And we scale them down to get them in here into our first box. Like so. All we have to do now is just highlight the two. Right click on it and add to array. And look at that. Now it's in all of the 16 boxes. So if we come up here, you'll see that they will all output to the laser exactly like this. So why is this such a great feature, you're saying? Well, because, you know, when you're doing a production run, sometimes you have to make edits. So you have a, a client, for instance, that they changed their mind. Now they want to have their company name in here. So you have to come in here. You got to edit it. You got to move this up. Now look what's happening. It's happening in live time. And then in here, you have to put their company name. We put this in here like so. We come drag across this. We right click on it and we add it to the array. And there it's done. And you know how frustrating this can be if you're doing production runs. Because you'll, you'll do a preview, okay? You'll save the image here in the preview window. Send it out to your customer and say, how do you like it? And they say, oh, well, I think I want to change that. I want to change this. I want to change that. Well, what did you used to have to do before? So if we came up here and selected this and we edited the array and we put it back to the original array like we used to have, which we can change it back and forth right here in the array dialog. So now it's back to the original. This is how it used to be. You send this out to your customer. He says, I want it to be, you know, an inch bigger. Well, what you used to have to do was take and slide over this come to inches, go to three inches by three inches, and now we, we have it an inch bigger, and then we have to take and, and delete all of these, and delete all of these, and then we have to come over here and select this, and come down and create, you, you understand what I'm saying, right? This really makes life so much, so much easier that it's unbelievable. This is one of my favorite features that Lightburn has ever released. And this is not the only feature that they've released as well. I mean, this new version has got quite a few different uh, new functions in it. I'm gonna do some videos on all of these. I've already been testing them for the last few weeks. But the live virtual arrays is what we're covering today. The print and cut wizard, I, I mean, this is a great feature that people don't use because they don't understand it completely, the print and cut. So this is what we had before, print and cut. Now, 
you got print and cut wizard. The wizard's going to walk you through it, and you're not going to make mistakes, and you're really going to like that feature. The Boolean Assist, and that's another one too. Nobody could ever figure out what box is on the side for the Boolean to use. Now you can get a preview and figure out which is the one that you want it to use. And I always click the wrong one. I don't know about you, but I always it takes me two clicks to figure, oops, that's not the right one. And this is another great one too. Look at this. Two-point rotate and scale. You can rotate and scale on two different points. I mean, that that's really a great new feature. All of these, all of these other changes in here. I mean, it's it's just incredible how many new features have been added to this, and it doesn't cost us a penny more. However, if you're on the fence, you're still in the trial period. Better get it now because they're going to be changing the price on August 16th, and that's only four days away. The new price is going to go to sixty dollars for the diode laser, for for the G code version, and one hundred and twenty dollars for the CO2 or the DSP version. You definitely want to get this as soon as possible or absolutely before the 16th so that you could still get the old pricing now I don't know about you but I use templates all the time and I've already made a couple of templates with this I'm going to show you one I'm going to open my 50 by 80 now I just used this one and I'll have this template for free download for you I just used this one I made 44 business cards for a lawyer. I make them out of 50 by 80 anodized aluminum. So I, I made him 44 new business cards. He buys them 40 to 44 at a time. Don't ask me why he gives me that number. This is my new template now. Even though I'll bring in his old design here, all I'll do is apply it to all of them. If he wanted any changes in that design, I can do it in a few seconds instead of having to change one delete all of the rest, create a new array. I mean, this is such a time saver. I'm really excited. And I'm going to have more videos coming out on the other new features as well as I get time to do them. So keep your eyes out for those. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about the new arrays. If you're a subscriber, make sure you have that, you've hit that bell notification so you can know when the new videos come out because I will be covering all of those new features in upcoming videos. So I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching.